What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. So in today's video, I want to clarify a couple of things that I said in my So Many Promos is Bungie Desperate video that I did yesterday. If you would like to check that video out, then I will put a link to it in the description as well as all sources for this video. This time, I actually didn't forget the music track. Now, I didn't plan on doing a part two, however, a few things needed to be addressed. First off, I would like to apologize for the misinformation that was given. From now on, I will look up the sources myself instead of listening to others. I'm not scared to admit when I'm wrong. Next, I want to go over the thumbnail. So many people on social media freaked out about the thumbnail because they pretty much judged a book by its cover. There is a reason why I put a question mark instead of an exclamation point. That reason is because, well, it was a question and not a statement. I mean, come on guys, this is basic English literature. You would have known that towards the end of the video I said, quote, I guess one could say that all of these promos are an act of desperation on Bungie's behalf. Then I continue on saying, the truth of the matter is that we really don't know, end quote. Yes, I understand that promoting is marketing, and I am not disagreeing with that. What I am saying is that there is a lot more promotion for Destiny 2 than there was for Destiny 1. We didn't get half of the things being promoted in D2 for D1 before the game was released. Not even close. And nobody, I mean nobody can deny that. Many people on social media took this as an act of desperation, and that is their opinion. You can't freak out on someone because their opinion doesn't match yours. However, let me put this to rest, kind of. Pepe Silvia was kind enough to send me the Q2 earnings report from Activision for this year. We are in Q3 now, but Q3 earnings report hasn't come out yet. On page two, Activision had this to say, quote, Activision and its partners at Bungie expect to release Destiny 2 on September 6, 2017 for consoles and October 24, 2017 for PC. The Destiny 2 console beta had more total players than the 2014 Destiny beta. And Destiny 2 pre-orders are now above the first Destiny. End quote. Now, Destiny 2 is mentioned three times in all 14 pages of the Q2 earnings report. My issue with this, and many people can agree, is that there are no actual numbers. No numbers for the Destiny 2 console beta, and no numbers for the Destiny 2 pre-orders. Destiny 2 doesn't have any MAUs or monthly active users because it's not even released yet. But that only gives you the numbers of the people playing Destiny 2 and not the numbers of the people who actually pre-ordered it, which is another reason why I made the first video. Now, if you think that gaming companies never lie, then you, my friend, are gullible AF, because they do. As a part of the Destiny community, I think I can speak for most of us when I say, quote, we'll believe it when we see the numbers, end quote. Otherwise, you're just being a fanboy defending a company that you like. Don't get me wrong, I love Bungie too. I didn't really like Halo, so I became a Bungie fan during the Destiny 1 Alpha, and I've been a loyal fan ever since. I bought all of the collector's editions of Destiny, as well as all of the DLC and the countless microtransactions. I spent over 2,500 hours on Destiny alone, so I get it. But no matter how much I love a company, facts will always speak louder. All in all, what I want to do is ask you guys is to watch the video and see what it's about before jumping to conclusions. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Drop a like on the video, share it if you felt it was helpful, subscribe, and turn on your notifications in order to keep up to date with all my videos. Feedback definitely helps the channel to grow. Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm Reckless, and remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time.